folks, here we go. We have an opening in the weather today. This is my swarm hive from last year that survived. And they are busting at seams, I believe. So we're gonna try to do a double screen split. This right here is basically a bottom board that has one entrance and that white paint just happens to look like a roadway, but it's not. It's got a hole in the center with a screen on both sides that prevents the bees from coming in contact with each other. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into this hive right here. Hopefully I'm gonna be able to find enough resources to put this double screen board up here where my inner cover is right now on top of that clean it fluter. Then I'm going to move resources from the mother hive into this brood chamber that's gonna sit on top of here. The hive will be able to normalize, equalize, whatever you call it, because the worker bees, the foragers, will walk out here and fly off, and then they'll go back home right there. The nurse bees, the ones that's gonna be raising queens, will not leave the hive, and they will stay in the hive, that hive, that's gonna be right there where that super is. And they are supposed to create queen cells, and the queen will be able to hatch and fly off and come back. And if it fails, all I've got to do is move the frames from that hive back down into that hive with no big deal. This double screen board right here prevents the queen's pheromones from being transmitted from the mother hive to the brood chamber hive. So we're gonna go with it and see what happens. Got my smoker going. I don't know if you can see it smoking or not, but it is. And uh, we're gonna try it and see what happens. Hopefully uh, everything will turn out the way I want it to. Okay, so I went in there and I found my queen. I thought I had her marked, but she's marked now. And I took out five frames with all kinds of resources, whole nine yards, everything they're gonna need. Now I'm gonna put in five fresh frames in here and uh, we're gonna see what happens. So, can you hear those? Hear that noise? Lack of noise. That queen in that cage right there, her pheromones are keeping these bees calm. The lack of hair pheromones are making these roar. So, that's where we're at, folks. So, I'm gonna add some frames in here, and hopefully this will go well. Look at how them bees propolize the inside that high. Yeah, now these are, some people say, oh, those are nasty bee high frames. Well, you'll be surprised what they do with them. So there we go. Now look here, they're trying to get to their queen, trying to get her out. She wants out, but she can't get out. So she is not hurt, she's fine. So anyway, so far so good. Yeah, these should all be nurse bees down here. I've replaced the empty frames these two pretty white ones are not drawn. The other ones have drawn comb on them. So the queen will have something to start laying to immediately. And, uh, you know, we'll be able to uh, keep this going because this is a hive. I'm not even gonna try to get honey off of it this year because I wanna try to raise queens because this swarm survived the winter with no treatment whatsoever. And uh, that's what we're wanting to uh, raise from. Survivor stock and, you know, bees from here 
around the house. So, so we're about to buckle this thing back together. There's either sweat running down my back or a bee running up my back. I'm not sure which one. I'm hoping it's sweat. <laughs> so, uh, this is the uh, double screen bottom board split method, <laughs> queen rearing method, whatever. Made famous by Bob Benny. All right, folks. See ya. Bye. Get your head out of there. Now be careful this thing. You can get her up away from the guillotine. Now, there. Yeah, she'll come out now. Somebody went into her. There she is. And there she went. Okay. So, Queenie is back in her hive. And uh, I saw some drones. Of course, she still got drone, drone boot, brood in there. But I've seen drones. So, it's time to do it. So, here we go. Wish me luck. Eubanks, family homestead, where I really enjoy messing with my bees. Bye. Okay. So the hive has been put back together. As you notice, I left the queen excluder off because my queen cannot pass through the double screen bottom board. I'm shaking, I'm sorry. So these bees are foragers that are coming and going, doing what bees do. Look at it, it's grooming that one. That's a, that's a very good sign that they, well, I thought it was grooming, maybe it was dead and hauling it off. Anyway, so uh, these bees are gonna continue to work from this bottom box like nobody has changed anything. This half of the bottom box is original, the other half, uh, empty frames. So that queen has plenty of laying room now. Now on the back side of here, here is the entrance. Now I'm going to put some type of cosmetic color orientation up here. So if this queen, if we hatch a queen out up here and she goes out, or let her come a bee out just then. So see, it's working. They know what's going on. Yeah. Now this little gap here, that's no big deal. Those bees will seal that up quicker than you say, seal it up. Uh, there's a lot of bees in there. So, uh, but we basically just split this hive and uh, these bees that you see flying out right now will fly right around and go in the entrance to this bottom box just like nothing ever happened. The bees that stay on the frames up there they're nurse bees and they will care for the frames. They will care for the larvae. And uh, that's how we're gonna try this. Never tried it before. I watched a few videos. I didn't do it exactly like they did it, but I did it like I thought it'd work for me. So uh, we'll keep y'all updated. Uh, if we get queen cells, they'll start making them in, I don't know, 12 to 18 hours, supposedly. And hopefully I got enough uh, eggs and small larvae that they'll have uh, plenty of uh, stuff to choose from. So there you have it, folks. Another day here on the homestead. And uh, we'll see what happens. I hope it'll come out good for us. Y'all be cool. Bye-bye. Hey, folks. Jeff Eubanks. Eubanks Family Homestead. Or hobby homestead it's a way of life we've come out today to check our our um, double screen bottom board split uh, I'm trying to use a double screen bottom board to create queen cells on about five frames that I took out of this mother hive down here I did it Saturday morning so that's all day Saturday Sunday Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday so we got three good days of them being queenless. So we're gonna see today 
if we have some queen cups or they should be more than just queen cup we should have some queen cells in process so these should all be worker bees in here because we we're getting no activity from our exit here so all these should be worker bees they should be very docile that's why i'm not suited up my bride on the other hand does have a veil on just in case things go crazy go sideways escalate quickly so we'll see what happens as you can see up here on the front, this is still a very active hive. This is our mailbox swarm. And I'm still trying, I'm supplementing, supplementing their feed since they're, you know, should be trying to make queen cells. Okay, <clears throat> so there's what we've got. I see some fresh comb that has been drawn over here. So I'm gonna have to break into it here. Well, we've got cross comb and all this stuff here, looks like. Plenty of nectar in there, don't we? Yeah, that comb right there is all nectar. far so bad no queen cells did they do that no it was like that when I come oh look here you see them hun yeah right there yep look is there that. is there royal jelly on yeah there's yes there's two more over here on this side they're royal jelly in those yeah. Okay. You might want to double check because I'm looking through a veil, but yes, from what I can tell. Oh yeah. Yes, there's there's larvae down in them. Yeah. So. We've got one over here, two over here, three, four, five on this frame. I'm glad I didn't cut all this uh, burr comb off of this one, and that's why I left it. Maybe okay. I should move on the other side. It should go from this way. So I counted five, right? on that frame. Oh, there's one on the bottom. You see it? I do. Mm -hmm. I can't it looks see like it's already been there. Yeah. It hmm. look good. Well, I didn't know. Well, did I notice that? That looks like it's been chewed open. Yep. I didn't notice that when I put it in there. I tried to be very cognizant of what was going on. Okay. Well, we've got one more to check out here. 
Alright, so we have five queen cells on one frame. And we have one queen cell that looks like it has opened. But I promise you I didn't see that when I moved them in here. Of course, we all know how fun it is trying to find a virgin queen. I mean, I don't have a whole bunch of bees up here. So anyway, all right. So we have five active queen cells. I hope I have enough bee coverage in here because we got some cold weather coming. I hope I have enough bee coverage for my, I mean, I got a good bit of, uh, of uh, brood up here. Matter of fact, this one right here I'm going to move it and put it over here on the side of this one for heat retention. There's not near as many drone, there's not near as many brood here as there was on that one, so I moved it over here for that purpose. So there you have it, folks. Uh, this is an experiment. I've never done it this way before. Oh, wait a minute. Now nah, I guess that's a drone, drone cell. But, but yes, we did have five queen cells in process. Ah! And uh, so uh, let's see. Oh, I can't remember my math now. They cap them off in like seven to eight days. So if we come back out here this fall, this coming Sunday, we should know for sure if they're viable or not because they'll be capped off by Sunday and then they hatch out I think in four, 14 or 16 days and I know all you beekeepers that are watching our videos are saying you should know this stuff well, I know I got a good idea I got an answer so so there you go there you have it and uh, as, as you can see these bees are very very calm because they're nurse bees um, and uh, that's why this this system works out pretty good and uh, I mean, when I pulled up here, there's all kinds of bees, but they have equalized through the hole here. The foragers went right back to the front. And if this don't work, all I gotta do is take this off and just put the frames back down in there. Because this hive is still, still, still working. The, um, <clears throat> the brood up here is benefiting from the heat that's transferring up through the screen bottom, double, double screen bottom board. So there we go. So there's an update. Uh, like, subscribe, uh, comments. We love comments and we love likes because that puts us up in the search engines on YouTube. So there we have it. Uh, we'll be checking back in with y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Peace out.